Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. I've actually already posted a video just now before this to my Patreon account. The link is below. And I felt it was a little bit rushed. And the guidance I'm getting is that this is going to be um, a message that can't be rushed. It's a collective message. I'm guided to see what's happening between you and your person and your person and the karmic situation, because the previous message that was extremely speedy Gonzalez literally said, there's no more deception towards you, the divine feminine, the divine masculine is leaving or has left the karmic uh, for sure. Mentally, this is a huge step. It was a very quick message, okay? So we need to know more. I'm going to get three cards. One for you. I'm not there yet. One for you, one for the Divine Masculine, and one for the Karmic. I just want to see where the energies are. Um, this message won't be rushed. If you need to, you can fast forward. But I don't recommend because messages come out at any time. I appreciate all my new subscribers. And old, okay? Really appreciate all the donations I've gotten ever, especially recently, you know? Thank you so much. Wow, okay. Divine Feminine, you're coming up of the angels of the four directions. And this is a really beautiful card. What I'm getting here, uh, Divine Feminine, you are totally a guiding light. You have also taken, um, it's not charge, but acceptance. And you started communicating with your Divine Masculine side within you, yourself. Um, this is lifting you to high levels. This is about you getting everything you need, whether it be mental clarity, financial abundance, um, actual manifestation, right? And maybe even energy for some of you, okay? I also feel that the Divine Feminine has become the light in the dark. And it's really interesting because I had a vision earlier today of a Divine Feminine being kept in a dark room. And um, what the message was is that the divine feminine, you know, you can't wait for someone to open the door, but if you just shine bright enough within yourself and there's like this, this light that's bursting through your person or whoever is outside of the door is going to be like, what's going on in there and open the door. So it's a, it was a really cool analogy, especially when I see this. Um, so we're going to see what your masculine is coming up as. Wow. So your masculine, this is the travel card. Um, this is the exact energy I was picking up where there has been a serious life-changing event is what I'm getting for your divine masculine. Um, I'm hearing almost out the door. So it's like the bags are out there or whatever's out there. And your person is just about to take the steps out there. That's why that package is out there waiting. Um, you know, there might be one last argument or one last discussion. Uh, whatever it is that's happening here, I'm hearing very peaceful in general. Like this is all over bringing peace to the whole community I'm hearing and situation um, in regards to this, which is really interesting. Okay, so if your divine masculine has not physically left just yet, there may be, you know, travel restrictions or maybe doors closing on that or something that needs to be finished because I see the door is not fully closed yet that second door is not fully closed yet but that's okay because we're right there right we're right there um if there is any sort of restriction do know that your person has mentally packed up and remember I had that dream remember I had that dream of the empty attic and the suitcase it was this suitcase by the way that was I'm not sure how many months ago um and it was smoldering because it was waiting. It was it was like long overdue to be out of that house. And that was the only item in the attic from what I remember. Um, that was an awesome dream. If anyone remembers that video, please link me in it. Like just send me a message in it so I can get back to that. So for the karmic situation here, really interesting. We have the honoring path. So honestly, because I feel like... Um, 
we always have this assumption of the karmic. This com this karmic, yes, it seems to literally have the embodiments that we always think of as the karmic, someone who likes to be on the stage or likes to be front and center or wants to be admired. Um, you know, this person here truly the curtain call. So like the last curtain call, I don't know, I'm getting, you know, overture. I mean, I'm getting all these sentences that have to do with the finale of a show. So for some, the karmic, literally, this was just a show. This is something your karmic uh, in this situation manifested, which is really interesting because I'm getting the message remind you that you create everything in your life. So you've created a karmic that really wanted to go out with a bang. Um, that wants to go out looking as though they're the one on the high pedestal. They're the one uh, that deserves, you know, everyone's attention here is really what I'm getting. Um, I'm also getting like, they want to go out almost as if like, look what that person lost. Um, but now I'm getting this message. When I look over here to the four angels, you bring out the best in your divine masculine. You need to know that. Okay, so that is really interesting. Let me get a few more cards here. Whoa, oh my gosh. So we have, and I was going to clarify each section. Um, the Divine Feminine will not be waiting much longer. I'm telling you this. I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video. There is a change happening. It is energetically happening now. Um, this might have been in the other video I posted on Patreon just now. If you want to check it out, I really appreciate that. Um, but it's happening now. It's happening this year. It's happening this month, this, you know, next uh, 45 days, whatever it may be. But you're not going to be waiting much longer, Divine Feminine. And, it, you know, as I said on the Patreon video, you don't need to make any efforts here. This person is going to make the effort. Okay. Um, this could be the one. Oh, you think so? Hmm? <laughs> this is the one. You already met them. You You know your person. This is heaven sent. This is divinely sent. This is so beautiful um, because, you know, I'm getting you're going to change the world when your energies finally collide in a healthy way, in a way that you're not needy for either or. Because I do feel that in the beginning, there's going to be a time when you need an adjustment. And, you know, this is the year of readjustment. People are really coming to terms with what they want. Um, you know, people that wanted to move this year, they moved. People that wanted to start a new business this year, they did it because it might be the last chance or whatever it may be. Basically, a little bit of fear from what's going on worldwide, right? So for the masculine, they have finances and career. Um, really, this tells me, first of all, your person isn't worried. I think your person is going to be just fine once they sort the garden out or, you know, deal with what they have to deal with. Um, but it is an issue in their love life right now. So that could be holding them back from where they want to be with the divine feminine. Um, there could just be some financial financial changes is what I'm hearing and career adapting. I don't know what that's about, but okay. So for the karmic, really interesting because um, what it's showing up. So this couple may have children between them or they may have just have businesses between them, right? Because I'm just keep on seeing this energy and I don't think it's about them playing together. Um, so what I'm seeing here, though, is that there are issues. The family, healing family issues actually goes back to people having to heal their father and mother issues. Um, so the karmic in this situation or both parties could have really uh, toxic past. Like basically what I'm getting is that's what attracted them was their issues, whether they knew that because it may not have been on the surface is what I get. Um, for the karmic, it looks as though behind the scenes, behind the curtains, what no one's really seeing is this karmic may be, um, begging for your person to come back, which is not happening whatsoever. Your person does have an energy of wanting to be honorable and kind and not mean to the karmic, but they also are saying, it's time to go. Please let my shoulder go. You know, I, I'm getting out of here. Um, you have issues of your own to deal with. I'm just making sure you can see without the glare when you see me popping over. Um, you know, you have issues to deal with your own karmic, Please, it's time for us to go our separate ways. I've learned lessons. You've learned your lessons. I think, you know, 
And also there's a guidance here. There's an energetic guidance from above saying, this is over. It's done. It's time to go. So let's see what else we have coming up for messages from your person at this time in regards to all of this and everyone else involved here. Let's see what else we have. Okay, I know we will find a way to make this happen. Your person is thinking about you nonstop right now. They're waiting for the day they can return to you into your loving arms. Um, this person feels blessed to know a love like yours, Divine Feminine. Okay, let's see what else. Um, you are this person's first true love. And this is really interesting because this card says, my home, my foundation is crumbling. And so is my health. Last year was the worst. I can't do this any longer. The pain is real now and forcing me to change. Being around you, I feel so good. I want to feel more of that every day. You're my first true love. That's on that card. Um, these are my cards. They have double messages on most of them written at different times. So it's really cool how they still go together. So for you, I know this card wants to come out. I just want to see wow so for the divine feminine it says i want to call but i have lost my courage um for divine feminines um Ooh, okay I, this is a very relevant message at the bottom here too it says i feel like i'm being tricked sometimes some sometimes it's happened before. So um, the divine feminines have been tricked before. Okay, let's just see what else. It could happen again. I need to get my confidence back. Wow. So for the divine feminines, okay. Um, I'm going to talk about, because I'm doing a lot of readings for people right now, they're dealing with this and you don't want to call your person, right? Even though you know everything within you says to like forgive them some of you still hold on to a grudge of some sort from your person it could be the separation it could be that you feel that they have to come forward um to be honest the message i got is that they will make the effort to come towards you but i'm letting you know as me and my nlp um practitioners type of training here like this is what i learned like if you're not ready to make the call your person's not going to be ready to make the call so it's really important for you just to get in that space and even imagine yourself calling them be like hi babe like how are you babe um and not as if there's been any space do it as if you're thinking in the outcome right as if you're with them so like hey babe like when are you gonna be here just um you know i can't wait to put my arms around you and feel it, feel it within you. That's how you know you're actually manifesting when you feel like anything, any spark of joy or even a tear or watery eyes or like this shivers, right? That's how you know when you're manifesting. Um, some of the divine feminines just don't have the courage right now because you're feeling let down. You know, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this person, um, but you're not going to be waiting much longer. So something is going to change in that situation. Uh, and it's important for you to know that. OK, so. Wow, wow, wow. So for the karmics energy here, we have I feel carefree at this time. I just want freedom. Um Yeah, the karmic feels like your person is actually very giving. Once again, like she mentioned, or she or he, whoever the karmic is, is mentioning here, your sweet like nectar. This is in the second part of the um, message. It says, I remember the first day we met, basically, like, you're so special to me. I knew you were special. Your energy is sweet like nectar. And nectar, like, keeps giving, right? I just feel like that sucking energy. So the karmic, though, is saying, I want to be free. Um, this may be a little bit of a head game this karmic is playing. Um, but like at the bottom of the deck, it says I'm in a sad place and it says, I know I took the wrong path. I'm trying to understand why I did this. Uh, the karmic may be having seeds planted within them at this time, letting them know, Hey, you were in the wrong here. And it's not even that they were in the wrong. This is part of their lessons in life. And we're just going to say it like that, right? Um, so the karmic, and we'll leave this out. Maybe this karmic is actually, at least a seed has been planted. That's what I'm feeling. An intention. It's interesting because the karmic has the intention card, number seven. So there has been a spiritual seed planted in this karmic, which is great because we want everyone to heal here and to move on. Um, yeah. So let's see what else is going on. Okay. 
see what we have yet. Okay. It's going to get a few cards. Yeah. Wow. And I will let you know what these are saying. Um, let me get one more here and then I'll start. Wow. So we're starting off. Yeah. This is a big lesson for you, specifically the divine feminine. Um, what I'm seeing here is, you know, you met this. Wow. Boom. Tower energy. I'm seeing like when this person came into your life, it was an explosion and it was pure joy. It was purity is what I'm getting is the actual word purity. This energy that came in. It really was exciting. You really didn't know what to expect. Uh, you, you thought this person was so special and this was your dream that you thought like, wow, my dream's finally here. My dream's finally coming true. This is my chance. Um, but there's something here that happened and it really kept you hung and it kept you so hung that you started, I'm getting you hurt yourself. Like It was a slow and painful, it had to happen by the way, you slowly, but surely committed an internal suicide within yourself. Like, you went through all of the different stages. This card for me is deeper than the death card because the death card talks about rebirth. This is about a full ending here. You do not get back from this. Um, you come back a whole new person. You come back a whole new spirit or soul uh, that rises from the dead is what I'm hearing. So, you know, one lesson after the other, this may have gone on for so long for some of you, and it just is the way it was meant to be. Congratulations. You have a beautiful journey that you have taken and are ahead uh, to embark ahead of you. Don't look at it as a bad thing. All the pain and suffering you went through um, and your person I'm getting, okay? It was all to enlighten you. It was all to bring you to this higher level. So part of what's going on um, with that is that you've healed from it. You've healed from being hung in that situation because you realize it was self-inflicted. Isn't that interesting? Even though other people may have triggered you to, to realize that or invoked uh, something within you to realize that, um, it's all about you, okay? So isn't that beautiful? You walked away from that energy for sure. Okay, now let's see what else we have going on here. So the person that you're dealing with, they're coming up as the emperor, um, you know, this emperor has wishes too, just like you. This emperor has, wow, big dreams. This emperor was also living a bit of the single life, whether they were with someone or not, because I do feel that this person was with someone, someone from their past, someone they were with for a long time, and there was a lack of love there. I'm just going to flip this card back over. Um, but why were they there? There was a lack of love, but there was something like possibly they had stood too strong in their beliefs in this connection in the from the past uh they may have put so much of an effort towards this that they're like i've put too much in here i've built too much up in here it's over it's over energy is what i get um even though it was over okay so let's see what else is coming up here for the emperor you could be dealing with the aries i'm hearing scorpio pisces even though that has nothing to do with emperor um I don't know why, but so anyhow, in the back of this person's mind, let's just see. Yeah, there's, oh yeah. So you met this person. Yeah. You really may be dealing with the water sign or this energy of love at least. Ooh. And when I, what I'm seeing is you may have known this person or for some reason they're showing up as a six of cups for you as well. Um, because I don't feel it's like, I don't know. I feel like some of you, I feel like it went back and forth as well. Um, so that's why it's coming back to you. They couldn't leave you alone. I'm seeing the devil stick out. I'm seeing the king of cups stick out. I'm seeing the fool card. I'm seeing the lovers. Um, so once this emperor hung, met, met, found you, saw you, this emperor had a lot of different options right in front of them. Once they saw you, they hung on um, and never stopped thinking of you, even though for many of you, they weren't showing it. They were busy working or whatever the heck they were doing, making money. Money bags is what I'm getting. Money bags. Um, this is a happy person too, is what I'm getting. But when it comes to this love connection, it was stressful for them because there's so much desire to take that leap, to take that jump, to make that choice, to take that, to cut that, that whatever they do have to cut. Okay. So let me just see what else we get here for this. What else is external energy there? So, you know, you <laughs> ding. Wow. 
So I'm asking what was the external energy? Because I want to see more about like why. Um, there is a strong energy here that this person... I wanted to know like what else was going on besides the fact that this person wanted to be with you. There was a situation where there was no love. Okay. Two cups here in reverse and the four of cups in the upright. And what I'm getting is like, there was a situation this person was in and they could not do enough for this person. They may have known this person from a very long time. Um, they may have offered this person the world. And, you know, I really do, because I, I, what I was asking about, like, what else is going on? I really wanted to know about the karmic, okay? So I do feel that this part of this message here, the third part, is about the karmic. And look at it. I'm not joking. Ten of, so or ten of swords, huh? It's over. We already have the ten of swords. Ten, ten of cups and the ten of wands. This person puts so much effort this person felt like a peasant in their own home is what I get. They were always confused. Um, like, what more can I offer? Um, possibly, like, they gave someone everything. There's a very strong energy of being in a situation, but feeling single anyway. So no wonder your person was doing whatever they were doing. They felt single, right? They felt like they only had a partnership, and it was a shitty partnership. Look what's showing up here. They felt like when it came to the karmic, they only had a partnership. It wasn't um, like a business partner, probably. It wasn't, yes, we have success. And I feel like this horse knows the lie. <laughs> no one else knows what the lie is. Everyone just sees the success, right? Just no one knows the secret. Eight of swords, suffering, miserable. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's move forward. Uh, where do we see, you know, what else do we need to know for this? Okay, letting go. So there's definitely an energy here that someone is letting go and it leads to the success and happiness. Um, it leads to happiness. It leads to, I heard potential commitment, um, but I'm seeing present power commitment. So it may lead to this person um, being committed to just staying focused on what's going now on now this person um the divine masculine i should say when i say this person the divine masculine may have to take a, a loss here take a moment here to really allow and let go um before moving into a new supportive connection with the divine feminine okay uh, so this person is letting go to get towards their happiness but there is this energy of taking some time to like because, you know, this person is still hung on to the situation, to that rope. It's like they're still hung on to everything that's happened in that way. Um, they need, like, their their people, their true friends, their true family, their true, any true people they have around them to kind of just, I'm hearing buffer. So maybe there's a buffer zone, um, you know, where really fear buffering that out type of thing before coming into this um, supportive connection with the divine feminine. So yeah, we have friends and colleagues. This person may um, be very close to the people that they work with. That may be why the friends and colleagues are coming out. And yeah, this person is just like teeter tottering their way to the new beginning of their journey. Right. So I want more about the caring connection yeah, so we have a divine feminine here that stays optimistic optimistic no matter what. Um, you're that light I was talking about, remember? You set that light in the room so the divine masculine has to open the door because they're just too curious not to. Um, yeah, and I do feel that... Yeah, so we have this... In, this um, this other energy here. Someone had hidden motivations. Um, fragmented energy. That could also be what you are coming out of. Um, yeah, it could be what you're coming out of. So it could be that at one point you were like so chasing for that missing piece. And the, the secret is it was within you. Um, you may have been motivated by things that were actually hindering you a little bit. And now you kind of have become... Uh, friends with your dark side is what I'm getting here, divine feminine. And this is why you're in this space of shining such a bright light. It's absolutely beautiful. And you're going to have this partnership come in. What is this showing up? Yeah, this is like handed to you by God's, by the divine hand of God's. It's a true love. Um, 
whoa, <laughs> plan, plan for this because it's happening. So start planning for it. And what I mean when I say that is, for example, like set up your place so it's comfortable and so you love it. You know, I did my place just the way I wanted with my like two different color curtains and my couch. And I kept it really clean and simple and just a whole bunch of plants everywhere because this is what I envision, like this clean, pure energy for me and my person to share um, each other's space in or each other's whatever in a, a company in so just like look into manifestation i'm not going to get into it guys <laughs> if you'd like to see the first part of this video which is like a really short zip, 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 um it's on my patreon the extendeds will all be on the patreon account as well that i'm posting on sunday i really appreciate you being here thank you so much and goodbye for now wow. it's gonna be a beautiful month bye